Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we're here to talk about how to calculate the area under a curve using pre-calculus. Now, the materials that you need for this exercise are a pen, piece of paper, and a, ca a calculator if you need it. Now, I will say uh, up front that finding the area under a curve using pre-calculus is a rather limited tool because, after, frankly, finding the area under a curve is primarily a calculus concept. Now, there are some limited applications that you can find the area under a curve using pre-calculus methods, but it depends on what the shapes are, and therefore it, the level, level of difficulty will, be, will vary according to the exercise. So here we go. Now a couple of common examples that you can find the area under a curve using pre-calculus is let's just say you have a typical grid, and suppose you have a horizontal line, let's just say across y is equal to 3, and suppose you wanted to find the area under the curve, let's just say, from 0 to 4. Now let's just say we're shading it just for full effect here. Now, all you want to do here is use simply the geometry formulas that you're familiar with. Now since that this is a rectangle, you know the area is length times width. Now, from 0 to 4, you know it's going to be 4 units long. In terms of width, going from 0 to 3, it all depends on perspective, of course, but you know it goes from 0 to 3, and you have 4 times 3. So the area under this curve is going to be 12, but we did, since we never specified units, since area is a two-dimensional measurement, it's going to be 12 square units. Now, suppose your curve was that of a line, and let's just say you want to find out the area under this particular line. Now, hypothetically, suppose it was 5 from 0 to 5 under the x-axis, and let's just say the curve was from 0 to, let's just say, 4 on the y-axis. Now, since that this is a triangle, you know area is 1 half times base times the height. Now, the base is from 0 to 5, so that means it's 5 units. And hypothetically, let's just say the height, since we ended at 4, it's from 0 to 4. So your height is 4 units long, and what you want to do is simply find out what 5 times 4 is, which as you know is 20. And, of course, you know half of 20 is going to give you 10. And again, since we did not specify the, the units here, we'll simply call this units. But because it's area, it's two-dimensional measurement, it's 10 units squared. Now, if you have shapes under curves that are not triangles or rectangles, you'll have very limited scope as to what you can do using pre-calculus. Squares are okay, but triangles and rectangles are okay. But when you get into other areas, Maybe circles are approachable, but if you get more complicated and complex shapes under curves, then it's better off to use calculus methods and not pre-calculus. But there are some examples that you could do this with, and I hope we've illustrated that. And I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you calculate the area under a curve using pre-calculus.